are nature parks? And how are they different from other urban parks? Let's go back in time where Singapore used to be filled with primary forests. In the early days, more than 90% of these forests were cleared for timber extraction, agriculture and the creation of settlements. By the 1900s, we were left with fragmented patches of primary forest and the largest one can be found in Bukit Timah Nature Reserve. One of the nature parks that surrounds and protects the nature reserve is Rifle Range Nature Park. So, do you know the important role that our nature parks play? Just like how our homes provide shelter for us and we build communities nearby, our nature parks have their own wildlife communities too. Nature parks are also part of a network that allows wildlife to move between green spaces in Singapore, facilitating ecological connectivity for the animals. One of the fauna species you can try spotting in Rifle Range Nature Park is the Malayan Kalugo. These mammals play an important role in the forest ecosystem as primary consumers, feeding on leaves, shoots and flower buds. They help in essential ecological functions such as seed dispersal and get around by gliding from tree to tree. You must be wondering how? Well, they have an extensive skin membrane from their neck to tail, which helps them to glide between trees like a kite. Kalugo poles have also been installed around the nature park in areas with fewer trees to allow the Malayan Kalugo to glide safely and climb higher. Did you know? There are also other features installed to help with ecological connectivity and habitat enhancement for other wildlife in Rifle Range Nature Park. Try spotting the aerial rope bridges, underground culverts, roadway animal detection system and nest boxes. Why are ecological connectivity and habitat enhancement so important? Our wildlife need pathways to move between source habitats. When we increase ecological connectivity by protecting such nature corridors, the animals living in our forests can thrive with access to more food and living space. Nature parks are important as green buffers and networks to reduce effects of human activities on our nature reserves filled with a rich amount of biodiversity. As we move towards our goal of becoming a city in nature, we have to balance the need to conserve nature and develop areas for homes. Let's all learn to live harmoniously with nature so that future generations can experience our beautiful parks, gardens and nature reserves.